Hey everyone, Daniel here, and I just got back from seeing the latest feature film from Columbia Pictures, Sony Animation, and Marvel. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, of course I am talking about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. One of my friends and I actually went to this early screening for Into the Spider-Verse at his school, Columbia in Chicago. And I printed out the pass online, but when we got there, they said that um, school students took priority over other people. And um, so we got to the front of the line and they were starting to stop letting people in and we got like freaked out about it. And there were like 10 people left in line and they said they weren't taking any more people in and then they went back inside the theater and came back out and said they could let, you know, a few more people in. And so there were five of us in line and they said five more people can get in. And I was like the fifth person. And because we were freaked out. I gave the pass to my friend who was a student at the school. And we were like, hey, why don't you take the pass? And you know, you're the student, why don't you just act like I'm your plus one? And we asked one of the ladies there to see if that was fine and she said it was. And so they let us into the theater and after I went in, she told all the other people, sorry, we're not letting anyone in. And that really sucks because there were a lot of people there. And my friend was further in line than I was when I first got there. And he said, hey, come up, you know, with me in line. And I did. And yeah, that was just really crazy um, how we were like the very last people in. And there were so many people that didn't get to come in and see the movie. And it seems almost unfair that they would invite so many people and not let everyone in um, if there wasn't enough room. But... You know, I can understand it'd be hard to, you know, measure how many people would get in. You know, you, you don't know how many people are going to be interested. And there were a lot of people there. And also, you have to count for the people who signed up for two tickets instead of just one. So, you know, I could see how it would get confusing there. But, um, yeah, let's get on with the review. This movie is incredible on so many levels. Everything from the story, the social commentary, and of course the animation, which was very clear from the, the very first teaser trailer we saw. I'm going to try to break this review down into categories to try to keep my thoughts organized because there was a lot in this movie that I loved and I don't want to like mash it all together. I'm going to try to like um, categorize everything. Let's start off with the story. So this movie focuses on Miles Morales who, for those of you who don't know, is the predecessor to Spider-Man. And this movie does a really great job of juggling multiple storylines and also serving as a origin story for Miles Morales and putting Peter Parker, who's usually Spider-Man, into the position of mentor alongside Gwen Stacy and some other Spider-People, who you may know from the comics. The people who made this movie did a fantastic job of giving Miles Morales a completed story arc while also developing characters like Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy and giving us a taste of what life is like for the other spider people and the other characters in this movie. The villains in this mo movie are also pretty cool and uh, well designed. They aren't the most well developed villains, but they do certainly make their mark in the movie. Not to spoil anything, but for those of you who are uh, fans of the comic books, and even if you watch the Daredevil TV show on Netflix, there are a couple of villains in the movie that have personal connections to our heroes. Their motivations unfold as the story progresses, and you see how their lives tie into the uh, heroes. The supporting characters are also pretty great. The vocal performances from the very star-packed cast are all amazing. We have Shamik Moore from Dope playing Miles Morales. We have Chris Pine, Jake Johnson, Nicolas Cage, Haley Steinfeld, Zoe Kravitz, Marshall Ali, and a few more people in there that also do a very good job with their roles. 
Miles' parents act like real parents as they love and embarrass him. The movie also gets very emotional in several places thanks due in part to the characters and the different relationships that they have with each other as well as their motivations that you see unfold as the movie progresses. There is a lot of comedy in this movie as well and most of it certainly works. The pacing may be a little fast for some people, especially toward the beginning of the movie when Miles first gets his powers, but I do think that is for a reason so that you can see the stress that he's going through, you know, when he first gets his powers and you can see that he's freaked out about it. As I said earlier and as you may already know, the animation is of course very beautiful in this movie. The action and cinematography in this movie are very energetic and kinetic and just so full of life. This movie has so much movement and it's so fun just to sit there and watch everything go on. The colors are bright and the comic book art style is just mesmerizing with the lighting that emphasizes the dots that you would normally see on a comic book panel and cell shading that is absolutely well done and complements the 2.5D aesthetic that they were going for and at one point it reminded me of the Telltale Walking Dead series. The music they chose for this movie was fantastic. Everything from the licensed music to the score really helping to add tension and emotion to each scene. So overall, I highly recommend Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I think this movie has something for everyone, whether you're a girl or a person of color, a child, an adult. I think there definitely is something for everyone in this movie. And that's one of the things I like most about it is that it represents everyone and it presents a very positive message that you're not alone and anyone can wear the mask. I personally needed to hear that message and hopefully this movie reaches um, a lot of other people at the right time in their lives as well. And yes, of course, in classic Marvel movie fashion, there is something after the credits. And of course, happily enough, they do show some love to Stan Lee. May he rest in peace. So those are my thoughts on Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Let me know what you guys thought of this movie, if you've seen it, and please feel free to show any and all feedback in the comments if you have any. And please help me by sharing this video with everyone you possibly can. You could share it with your friends, your coworkers. You can even show it to your grandma. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the support. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.